you guys. Yeah, how you doing? Question for you. What's everybody no, got to be aware of tomorrow? The heat. And what's the suggestions? What's the suggest suggestions? Some people are starting one are starting a little bit earlier. You can't start below. You can't start before 5:30. You want to wait until you get your full full a road closure. Please stop at all the stops. Water, water, and water. Electric hall, lights, coke, whatever you need to do to keep yourself hydrated. Came all the way from Ireland, west just, coast just, of Ireland. Just for this? Just for the death ride. Hey, yeah. West coast to yeah. west coast, kind of. <laughs> exactly, exactly. How did you even hear about it? Uh, some of our friends are cyclists down in San Francisco, so they told us about it, and we were like, yeah, we gotta gotta get some of that. Yeah, it's one heck of a trip. <laughs> now, you're not alone. Who, what's your name? Oshin. Oshin, where are you from? What part uh, of Ireland? Belmullet, County Mayo, West Coast. Okay, that yeah. means something to somebody who will see yeah, this. Yeah, and I'll say Mayo for Sam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. and how about yourself? My name is Donica from Cork in the south of Ireland. Okay, and you're as crazy as your buddy? I'm not quite as crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, you guys have a great ride. Yeah. And death ride's about to begin. It is about uh, five after four. We'll be rolling in a minute, and it is uh, dark and a little chilly. We'll see what happens. Parade up at the beginning of Monitor. We're still pretty early, five o'clock. Been out for about half an hour, and uh, pretty interesting. Gorgeous sunrise at the top. We don't wait to see it. For everybody, so this is the first pass, so you give yeah. us a stamp and it yeah. says we Just, really did it, huh? Yeah. What's that? So, Bill, tell me, you're from Oregon. Yeah. You've done this a few times? Oh, yeah. Like? 26. That's just awesome. That is just awesome. So, we're at the top of Monitor. It just doesn't get much better, does it? Pretty damn cool. And we're off to the downside and then back up. Okay, so we're at the uh, the bottom of the second pass. Actually, the bottom of the first pass. Got to climb back up. Another sticker stop. And see behind me is everybody getting their water. A little bit of something to eat, maybe. And uh, up we go for about another 3,000 feet. And then on to the next set of passes. Potatoes. You gotta tell me, what are you doing here? Warm potatoes. Why are they warm? For you, because you are freezing, <laughs> and your hands are frozen. It's going to be 85 to 90, and we're freezing at this time. And you're time freezing now. right and now. In about 20 minutes, it's going to be terribly hot. You got. That's why you need these warm potatoes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We appreciate your help. You're welcome. So we are about uh, 6,000 feet into the ride, top of the second pass, and the rest of this time it's, it's downhill back into the city and up onto Ebbets. Hey, how many times have you done the death ride? Uh, this is my 10th, but um, there were eight Three. long ago. Three. Yeah, long ago. Those are the hard ones. 96 through for eight years. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. All right, man. Thanks. How's the ride going for you so far? Oh, great. Good, good. How, How about, about you guys? Well, it's going fine. How about good. you? I got the easy job. Uh, you know. guys got the hard job. <laughs> What's the crowd? Everybody treating you nice? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you for all the help. At the top of Evans Pass, 
got all our great volunteers helping us out. I would love some water. Yeah, and this is the uh, worst climb of the entire day. I don't, I can't do that. Oh, I don't. We're uh, in pretty good shape. These are people coming in to get their stamps so they verify that they can where they're supposed to be. Today we are at the Lake Alpine Turnaround. This Which is mile is? 68. And we have a small rest stop, and I am the official stamper. So I'm going to stamp your whatever, Dip. bib thing. And uh, so I can say that you were actually here at Lake Alpine. And this is number five stamp. So there's only one more. One more. You just got to get back. Yes. <laughs> but there's a nice breeze and a tailwind. Perfect. So you've got this. All right, at this point in time, we're at the number five stop. There's one stop left. That's the end. We got about. 30 miles to get back to it. So, a little bit of climbing, about 3,000 feet, and it'll be over. <laughs> it's a little warm, and it ain't gonna be easy. So far, so good. Congratulations, Jeff. And you made did you it? have ice cream? I did. I already ate it. Six, six, eight. I'm going to come back six, in and get dinner. You going to eat dinner? Good. Yeah. Great. What do you like? The crunch. All right. So how much ice cream you guys been giving out today? Uh, you know, I have no idea. I just started. But the um, folks that were here earlier, a lot. Some people finish a little bit differently. Yeah. Well, I gotta eat at some point. Yeah. 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 How was right today? That was good. Hot. Which really, really hot. But the uh, experience was great. But you made it. I made it. Yeah. And you gonna do it again? Yeah, I think so. Good. In the future. I mean, it took me five years to come back. Maybe another five years. I don't know. From where? <laughs> 2018, I did it last time. And where's the accent from? Uh, England originally. Oh, yeah. But I'm now in San Jose. How'd you do it? Yeah, that was good. It's hot. No yeah. problem. I survived. Right. Yeah, it's right. Congratulations. <laughs> How about yourself? I mean, I also survived. Excellent. Where's uh, that accent from? Uh, it's from Russia originally. Ah, it's, a, it's a Massachusetts uh, yeah, accent. Right? Yes. Now That's where he is from now. And, and yours? Yeah, it's the same thing, Russian accent. I'm from Belarus, yeah. So I just wanted to post this, say thanks to everybody for allowing me the opportunity to train. It's, this is not just a, an individual situation. It includes family and you know, my wife, who's been spectacular, the kids for supporting me, uh, knowing with some trepidation that something could happen, uh, but it didn't. And I think that's testament to Dr. Boyd and the entire team at Stanford, Dr. Tremel with the testing, Dr. Schnitker with the entire program, and if it wasn't for them, this certainly wouldn't have happened. But I think if there's ever been any doubt about the fact that this unroofing thing, the controversial procedure, works, this is a case in point. And Hopefully, for those of you who are you know, aware of the situation, you can hear my story on the Imperfect Heart podcast, the first episode to get you squared away. But I, I, I just can't thank everybody enough.